Welcome to Gamers Games. I'm Gamer, and these are my games. Tune in and see this week's new video. Thanks. All right, so just now left Goodwill and Denison. They had one game. Uh, didn't even bother filming. It was uh, Skylanders Giants, and it was three dollars. You know, it's it's almost at that fifty percent mark. Uh, <laughs> Skylanders just doesn't hold any appeal to me. I, I have a set uh, game and everything for I think PS3 and Xbox. Just really don't mind. I don't play it. Uh, everything that was marked red was on sale. Didn't see anything red. <laughs> Uh, they did have a HDMI cable that fit 360 Wii, and I think that was it. But it was uh, off-brand. It wasn't anything name-brand. If it had been name-brand, I'd have picked it up. But that's all right. We are still on our way. There are two, maybe three Goodwills in Sherman. I know one doesn't carry games because they had a whole section. Like, this whole back room area was uh, what they called Electronics Corner or something like that. And... <clears throat> they had stacks of games on shelves and everything. It worked really well. They kept them separated by system and what price. And oh, it's so great. And then they just stopped. They started sending everything in to, like, if it's game at all, they send it in. Uh, at least the one uh, here in Denison occasionally gets games. The one in Durant gets games. The one in Ada gets games. It's just, it's, it's seldom is all. So uh, I just had good enough luck i'm still doing all right so we're gonna keep on going we'll see you on the next round all right so hey gum lights in this funky thing where i can't block it sorry everybody this little section is going to be horrible where i look angelic which one is it i'm not sure Woo. so <laughs> i cracked myself up at least so i uh, went to goodwill this is in sherman texas they are on texoma parkway i actually went to school here and lived here for like two years so kind of knew my way around a little bit they had a decent selection of games mostly wii games uh, a couple of ps2 games i had all those uh i'm kind of set on cases right now um but all of their games were four dollars a piece flat that's <laughs> so, yeah. so I actually told her I didn't want these, and then I come back and got just these four because I had some others picked out. But, uh, NCAA football 2010 for 360. I don't play football. I don't play sports games very often at all. Uh, I think I burnt myself out on uh, MPS1. But uh, for four dollars, it is complete. Disc looked really good, so I picked that up. Um, again, sports games. I don't know why I'm picking them up. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09 All Play. Yeah, All Play. Uh, again, complete. Looks pretty good. Uh, not horrible. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm uh, oh, sorry, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean for the Wii. Uh, the, the video game. Uh, let's see here. Complete. Yep. The case is kind of messed up down here on the bottom. But uh, I've got extra cases that are white. They're not Wii cases. But uh, the best one by far of this whole pickup was Guitar Hero World World Tour uh, for the Wii. Uh, it is missing the manual, but it's uh, really good shape on the disc. So we'll put these in the bag here with our others, and we are going to go to the As Is store. And there's actually a Goodwill right next to the As Is store uh, in the same building or whatnot. So we're gonna go there as well. Uh, I'm trying to pace myself and not get ahead of myself because really want to get to the as store. I hadn't been there in probably close to a year, at least eight months, if not a year. So it was real cold then. So uh, stay tuned. There's more coming. All right, we're back at it. Uh, so the lighting's better. You know, I don't look angelic this time. Dang. Uh, so $3.25. Yeah, $3.25. So uh, Alien Monster Bowling League for the Wii. It is not complete, it's missing the book, but the disc looks brand new. And they literally had two games. <laughs> this one and then, uh, what is it, uh, NCAA, something like that, and Top Spin for the regular Xbox. So for $3, I was going to pass on that one anyway. I uh, picked up that one. 
They had a couple of other things I looked at. Uh, nothing, nothing really great. So, um, a lot of movies. Uh, just nothing crazy. They, I like records. Uh, my wife and I have been buying records for about a year now, I guess. A little less. But uh, <clears throat> I just gave my youngest kid, my little girl, my record player. And I've been looking for a replacement to keep in my shop area or garage area whatnot. And there's a record player, 8-track player, and radio. Sony brand from the 70s. Uh, and it was only $10. But the tape track or the eight track player eats tapes and then the uh, record player needs a new uh, needle i was like man i don't want to have to work on it because <laughs> uh, i have two eight track players already and i only have uh, some older country uh, i'm trying to find some acdc eight tracks or something like that so uh, but anyway we are here at sherman goodwill right next to the as is store so we're going to drive through the parking lot to the as is store there, there's a sweet Saturn car that is red and black and it says Deadpool across it and maximum effort in a sticker. It just it caught my eye. I didn't see it before. But uh, yeah, we're going to pull through the parking lot. We're going to see what the As Is store has for us. We'll see you in a sec. All right. So I'm still out here in front of Goodwill Outlet. Uh, that's what it's called up here. It's an As Is store. Um, excuse me. So without telling you what I've got in this bag here, I spent $70.36. We're gonna fold this little receipt up. We're just not gonna talk about the price because it's well worth it. All right. So some of this stuff's gonna get traded in. Some of this stuff's gonna get put in the collection. Some of this stuff's gonna be loud. Let's just try and get as much of it in. Yeah, there's still stuff coming. Ah. Okay. Yeah, gum. And there's still stuff coming. I didn't realize I bought this much to warrant a giant bag, but I did. Okay. Yeah, Okay, so Family Game Night 3, Madden 10 for PSP, Undead Nightmare, and it's not that one. One more game. Oh, Nicktoons MLB. Okay, all four of those were just empty cases, may have artwork, or obviously they have artwork, may have the booklet, uh, but a quarter piece, I bought them. So, that's whatever. Ah, try not to spoil the surprise here with the good stuff. Don't be peeking. I saw y'all. So, uh, first things first, PSP, Sean White Snowboarding. And, some dust up in there. Uh, MX versus ATV Untamed. A dollar a piece. So, I don't even have a PSP. Like I said, in uh, the video on, well, I filmed it yesterday. Uh, like I said, in that video, I don't play handhelds. Uh, I come across stuff like that, I pick it up to trade. Uh, maybe somebody I know that does uh, will want it. So, with that being said, there is a stack of golden goodness here in front of me that is games that I will play, that I. Uh, I think I've picked up too much stuff and I've only spent a little bit today. Yeah, well, that's, that's an embellishment a little bit. All right, so first things first, Mortal Kombat PS3. It is complete. It actually looks like it has, oh yeah, it's the, the code that they used and then the little booklet and the regular booklet. It's complete. PS3 games were a dollar. Star Wars Force Awakens complete it's like a 16 dollar game i got it for i think three uh, every every game here was three or less excluding uh three games <laughs> so and you'll see those they're separate uh rock band 
Metal Track Pack 360. Complete. That thing, three dollars. No, take it back. Uh, rock bands were a dollar, along with any sports games and things like that. Um, that's a big sports game. So, uh, Black Ops 2. There's one that's missing the book for 360, and then one that has the book. Has the insert at least. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have the book, but it has the inserts. So, either way, 360 copies of Black Ops 2. Both discs look good. Uh, I paid three dollars a piece for those. Family Game Night 4, the game show for Wii. Complete. Insert and booklet. Three dollars. Red Steel 2. Complete. Three dollars. I'm loving it. Will of Fortune. Wii. No book. I believe it was a dollar family feud. Ah, the case. It's not one to hold it, I guess. It's complete. It was Adela. She took that one. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Complete. $3. Uh, Tomb Raider for PS3. Complete. A dollar. Uh, WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 07. Now this is a game, uh, no case art, it's uh, GameStop, but it is a good game. Uh, the disc looked good, so I picked that up. Dollar. Top Hand Rodeo Tour. Uh, it looks to be complete. Yeah, it's got a connect book and the little connect thing. It does not have the book for rodeo though. A uh, dollar. Rock Band 1 and 2 for 360. The artwork is here. It's just the case is so mangled it came out. Um, the discs look like they have probably need resurfacing, but no big deal. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Disc only. Uh, case is, again, foobar. Uh, but I have extras. It might just be a black case, but it'll get us through. So uh, then I got a, a charger for a Dell laptop. I hope it works. My wife's got a laptop. We've been buying those cheap on uh, universal chargers from Walmart in the last about six months, and then could put. Um, Got to get her battery too, but hopefully this will be because it was only three dollars. So I take three dollars out of the seventy because that's not for me. That's for her. So um, Lego Batman for the Nintendo DS. It has the book. It has the beware, don't stare at a screen too long instructions. And it's marked at 10. I did not pay that. I paid five. The next two are Holy Crapola Cola Good. I don't know if that's a saying you're used to, but I say it a lot. Crapola Cola. So, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hour. $10. Now, it's pretty much just the, the little game. But for ten dollars, I'll take it. It's a what seventeen dollar game, something like that. Uh, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. It does have everything. It does not have everything. It has the two inserts. It does not have the book, but that's okay because I paid ten dollars. Artwork looks good. Ten dollars. Oh my gosh. These were sitting in behind the the three DS games. The three Nintendo DS games. Uh, they were sitting in behind the counter and the rest of the stuff was in a locked cabinet. So I waited patiently, as most people do, and I said, Hey, uh, when you get a chance, I need the key to this. And she goes, Oh, you've been waiting for like twenty minutes. I'm terribly sorry, blah 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 blah. I said, No, 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 I understand you're busy. I have all day. And she said, here, here's the key. I unlock it for you. You just lock it when you're done. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And I'm buying all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, I have bought all this. Uh, may have went a tad bit overboard. So I spent, uh, what was it? I'm trying to think. First receipt of the day was, oh, $19 and some change. The 
Second receipt of the day was 16 and some change, actually right next door. No, that was at the one over on the parkway. I bought one game next door for $3. Um, so might as well round both of those up to 20. So it's $40 plus 70. So, I mean, $110, that's really not bad. I mean, $110 for all this and two games total up to almost half that, I'm golden. Uh, I'm happy with it. That's the biggest thing. It doesn't matter if you made money or anything, unless that's what you're needing to do. In collecting, it's if you're happy with the price. So I'm happy with the price. Uh, I'm very happy with the pickups. Like the Family Game Night, I really wish the third one was in there. Those are games I actually like to play. Uh, we don't play the Wii very often. I don't play it hardly at all unless the kids are wanting to play it. So uh, that's just... Good old family fun. The games are awesome. Uh, the trivia, I don't like playing it because my wife kicks my butt. But great pickups. Man, this is going to be a long video. I'm glad you stayed to the end. And hopefully these pickups here, these last two Nintendo DS pickups, made it worth the whole time for you to watch. Because that kind of stuff is out there. That stuff is, you know, $17 to $20 games loose or complete, depending on which one you're talking about that's good buys i mean that's that's half the price that's like i was saying earlier in the video you know it's just eh, you know seven dollar as far as profit that stuff's going to go on the shelf until somebody says hey i'll give you you know 15 bucks for it done you know i make a little bit or hey i'll give you 15 dollars in trade okay well i'll give you both of these for that 30 dollar ps2 game i need i mean come on now so that's just some great deals. That stuff is out there. Chase it if you have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's let's do a, a montage of all the the other YouTubers. You can chase after the right price and find it and buy it the right way. Uh, you don't have to go to Phoenix Resale to get it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to go to Phoenix to get it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, keep it going. Let's see it in the comments. Keep all those YouTubers' names, you know, use it somehow. But good deals. We will see y'all next video. Deuces. All right, one last thing. The way to end off a video. Not sponsored. It's just good food. And I uh, got myself a large drink with a... Uh, root beer oh my gosh makes a day almost makes a day better than getting games but not quite